Lift up your hands and wave it unto the most high. He's worthy of our worship. We give you glory, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm not in peace. I'm not 
together for Jesus. Jesus is in that we are celebrating Jesus and he's worthy of our praise and worship. You just want to lift up your hands and begin to worship God in your own way. You are Alpha and Omega We worship you our Lord, for you are need to be praised. You are found, hell no man.
praise the Lord. You are worthy, Lord.
Tell me your voice. Let us know in the end of the Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm a 
thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Beginning and the end. Great is thy faithfulness. Name 
the glory comes There'll be no words to say Tonight when the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, 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 souls, he who called us to worship, to worship, I live, oh, to worship, I live, I live, if you can gaze upon him tonight alone, oh, we cry, oh,
we celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. We bless your name because you deserve it all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, can you celebrate God better? Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, be still and know that I am God. Oh, shout it out. Be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah. We trust in this very God we said. Amen. When the oceans rise and thunders roar, I will soar with you above the storm. Father, you were king over the floods. We will be still and know you our God. Anybody a witness? We will be still know you. We pray in this prayer. Oh, hide me now. Say, hide me now. It's your prayer tonight.
Thank you for the working of liberty and deliverance. Tonight, I pray, Spirit of God, have your way in this place. You know everyone here. You know the burdens of your people. You know where everyone is at. And so I pray, Spirit of God, the Lord, uh, work the divine purpose of God concerning every life in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. And even those who are joining us online, oh God. And I pray that, Lord, you minister through these lips of clay. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your strength and your anointing that is released in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Oh, put your hands together and thank the Lord. Oh, you can do better than that. Glory to Jesus. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. This is our fourth um, service on deliverance. Amen. And last week... We began on deliverance from the power of witchcraft. And I think I spoke extensively on what witchcraft is and um, how to detect if you're under any kind of oppression. Amen. Today we are going into a lot of prayer because today we are, what we're dealing with or what we're doing is breaking the power of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Now, Exodus chapter 22 verse 18 says something very strong. The Lord says, thou shalt not suffer a wish to live. Meaning, do not allow a wish to exist or operate in your midst. That's what God said to the people of Israel. Then again, in the book of Leviticus chapter 20 verse 27, he said, a man also, a woman that has a familiar spirit or is a wizard shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones and their blood shall be upon them. So that, that was the, the, the strong um, punishment or judgment of God against the practice of witchcraft and anybody who practices witchcraft. Because, you see, the witchcraft, witchcraft power or the operation of witchcraft is destructive. It's demonic, it's satanic, and it is very destructive. It is an invisible power that manipulates and seeks to destroy the destinies of people. And so we have Satan's cohorts that um, the Apostle Paul talked to us about, principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. And among them is the power or the practice of witchcraft. Now, witchcraft is rebellion against God. Any form of witchcraft is rebellion against God. Why? Because, you see, if somebody seeks to manipulate somebody's destiny, Meanwhile, that destiny has been given to that person by God. Who are you to try to change the course of that person's destiny? So whenever any witch or wizard releases an agenda, a spell, an enchantment against any person seeking to destroy or divert the course of their destiny, they are rebelling against God because God has a plan for every one of us. So any form of witchcraft attack against you is rebellion against God. That's why God's judgment is strong against the practice of witchcraft. In fact, witchcraft is an abomination. God says an abomination. I read Deuteronomy 18, 9 to 12. He said, when you come into the land which the Lord your God gives you, you shall not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. Because the heathen nations were practicing witchcraft. He said, there shall not be found among you anyone that makes his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that uses divination an observer of times those of you who do horoscopes and things like that an enchanter or a witch or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirit or a wizard or a necromancer for all those that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord because, and because of these abominations the Lord your God drives them out before you the judgment of God against the nations that he was going to you know, root out and give their land to the children of Israel were practicing 
these things. And God said, because of these things that they do, it's an abomination against him. So he was rooting them out, driving them out, destroying them, and his people would take possession of their lands. So witchcraft is an abomination unto the Lord. Anyone practicing witchcraft is against God and against the counsel of God, and therefore God will also not deal kindly with anyone practicing witchcraft. It's rebellion. Somebody say rebellion. Or oh, somebody say rebellion. rebellion. But you see, every one of you has been purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Every one of us in this room, if you are born again, you have been purchased by the power of the blood of Jesus. And so technically, you don't belong to the devil. So the devil cannot have his way in your life. For those who are not born again, he can have his way with them. They are part of his people. But now, you are not part of the devil's um, slave. You are not under him. Amen. So he has no power over you. And therefore, all his cohorts have no power over you. But on the contrary, God has given you power over all manner of sorcery and over all manner of witchcraft. Hallelujah. And so you don't have to bow to witchcraft in fear. Because a lot of people are so afraid of witchcraft, family witchcraft. They are so afraid. But the thing is that greater is he that is at work in you than he that is in the world. Is somebody with me tonight? Oh, put your hands together. So do not fear and do not bow down to them. God says that he has not given unto you the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. And so it is in our power as children of God, anointed and appointed to raise prayer and a standard against any form of witchcraft. If you're under any witchcraft form of witchcraft, the first thing to do is prayer. If it's prayer, prayer, prayer. Sometimes you have to add fasting to it. But prayer is the key. Hallelujah. And when I talk about prayer, it's spiritual warfare prayer. Amen. And God, by his power, will deliver you. Amen. Tonight, we are getting into a time of prayer. I want us to pray extensively. Amen. We are going to go into a time of prayer. But um, I just sense within my spirit that before we, we zoom off in the prayer, we'll come to the communion table. Amen. So when we get into prayer, we're just moving on. Prayer and then the ministration. Amen. Tonight we thank God for the power of the blood. Everyone that has been redeemed by the blood of Jesus, you've been purchased from Satan's slave market. And the price with which God has purchased you, I would say it's not in silver or in gold, but the price is the blood of Jesus. The blood is the medium of atonement. The Bible says without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. But where there's blood that's been shed for your sake, then your sins are forgiven. You are made one with God. Atonement, you are at, you are at one with God. And technically, you carry the power of God also. Because once you are purchased by God, you become a son of God. And if you are a son of God, the Bible says that you are an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ Jesus. So all the power that is within Christ is also within you. Hallelujah. So you are more powerful than the witch or the wizard in your family. But you just have to understand and you have to appropriate yourself by the word and by prayer. Amen. So now we are going to the communion table and we are going to drink of the blood. And as we drink of the blood, what we are doing is that we are affirming and confirming our covenant with the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You want to rise upon your feet. The Bible says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. We have been redeemed by the blood. So I want to lift up your voice and begin to thank God for the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood that has bought us. We are purchased by the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, tonight we bless the elements of the bread and the wine here. 
symbolic of your body broken for us, Jesus, and your blood shed for us. Thank you that, Lord, your words say without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sins. But your blood was shed on Calvary, Jesus, that our sins may be forgiven. And not just forgiven, but that we may be purchased from Satan's slave market. Tonight, Father, we bless the body and the blood that is your body and your blood, Jesus, that is in these elements. And as we pray a blessing over them, we pray, Father, Lord, let the blood of Jesus mingle with the blood of your people. My God, let it flush out every toxin, every demonic deposit in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the yoke of the wicked and the enemy be broken over their lives by the blood. For your word say we overcame him, that is the devil, by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. Thank you, my God, that the blood of Jesus, my God, that eternal blood speaks better things than the blood of Abel. And so tonight, even as we partake of your body, Jesus, and your blood, I pray that may the blood speak deliverance, may the blood speak liberty, may the blood speak healing, may the blood speak freedom for every partaker of this covenant meal in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that your word declared by your stripes we are healed. Any demonic sickness, any demonic disease, oppressing anyone we pray as we take in your body my god let that sickness leave the spirit of infirmity leave the bodies of your people oh god and let your people come to wholeness tonight we pray yokes be broken my god we pray liberty for your people my god through the communion we bless these elements in the name of god the father the son and the holy spirit amen may god bless you so you come pastors will just and you pick one and you go back to your seat and follow instruction. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Come on, Holy Spirit.
I want to pick out the wafer and lift it up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your body broken for us, Lord Jesus. Thank you, the Lord. You said that sacrifices of bulls and sheep, God did not want or accept. So a body he made for you. So tonight, this body of yours that was broken for our benefit, that we might find healing in the stripes thereof. My God, we pray activating the power of healing. My God, the power of deliverance upon the elements of the bread that is in everyone's hand. And I pray that let it be your body broken for us. Everyone, take it and eat the body of Jesus broken for you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Open to the second part. The deliverance of the power of the blood. Lift it up. Father, we thank you for the blood of your son, Jesus. My God, that medium of purchase, atonement, oh God, that has delivered us, my God, from sin, cleansed us and washed us and made you your own. Tonight, Lord, we lift the cup, my God, and we bless the cup, the cup of the everlasting covenant, the Lord we have with you, you have with us. And I pray, Father, Lord, even as your people drink of the blood of Jesus, may the blood mingle with your blood. May the blood of Jesus break every curse, break every spell, break every stronghold over your life. May the power of the blood uproot every evil planting in your life. May the blood drive out every demonic power out of your life by reason of the blood may every spell every satanic spell demonic spell witchcraft spell break off your life by the blood we silence contrary voices for the bible says the blood of jesus speak better things than the blood of abel we command the speakings of the blood of jesus upon your life that the blood speak deliverance the blood speaks liberty for you. Your soul cannot be bound. Your body cannot be bound. Your destiny cannot be manipulated because of the blood that has purchased you. Tonight, a blessing of the blood of the Lamb of God. Drink it in memory of him and drink it for your deliverance in Jesus' name. Go ahead and pass it around. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank the Lord tonight. Just open up your mouth, begin to thank the Lord. That there's an exchange that has been made for you. The exchange. Whatever is not of God in your life, tonight we declare that exchange. May the power of the blood of Jesus saturate you. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory, Lord. Let the blood of Jesus enter into every area of your life. Into your soul. To your spirit. Let the blood cover your life against every assignment of destruction. May the blood speak for you tonight. Against every assignment of death. May the blood speak against contentions against your life. May the blood speak against accusations against your life. May the Lord by the blood break every illegal covenant that is operating in your life. For this is a better covenant. 
and the greatest covenant, uh, every generational covenant, uh, and the wish you have been tonight by the covenant of the blood, uh, we declare it broken in the mighty name of Jesus. The blood speaks for you. Oh, thank you for the speaking of the blood. I activate the power of the blood of Jesus upon you. I activate the power of the blood in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus work its perfect work in you. The blood has bought you. The blood has atoned for you. The blood set you free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rather, you want to declare in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare that God has not given me the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus, I declare I have power over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt me. Tonight, by the power of God, I command every yoke of fear break off my life right now. In the name of Jesus, lift up prayer right now. Every fear, every deposit of fear, the enemy has put in fear. Tonight, let the power of fear, the struggle of fear break. Tonight, we're lifting prayer. Every witchcraft power, lift up your voice and pray. Let the spirit of fear be bound. We pray the yoke of fear of your life. God has not given you the spirit of fear. In the spirit of bondage, your life is not bound. Your life is free. Now let every fear break. Every controlling power of fear break off your soul. Break off your mind. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody lift up prayer. I pray. I pray. I pray. I break every yoke of fear. I break the yoke of fear of my life, of my soul. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up prayer right now. Now we are breaking witchcraft. Trouble. Break the yoke of fear. God said, you shall not fear their fear. He said, if you fear them, I will confound you before them. So that we declare, we are not afraid, but greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Somebody break the yoke of fear. Break. I command the yoke of fear broken. Revelations 12, 11, God says that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto their death. Right now you want to plead the blood of Jesus as a covering over your life. You want to activate the power of the blood of Jesus upon your life, upon your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, you want to release the overcoming power of the blood of Jesus over your life over your destiny. Your destiny is released tonight by the power of the blood. Live the blood. Makadosha. Let the blood cover. Somebody pray a covering of the blood. Oh Jesus. You are bought by the blood. You are covered by the blood. By reason of the blood. No weapon formed against your life will prosper. The blood will speak for you. The blood will deliver you. Somebody pray. Madeba Robos Kelele Blanca. Yes, Yes, so We activate the blood. Activate the blood. 
Somebody pray. By the blood of Jesus. Speak for you. Somebody pray. The blood speak for you. Against every confederacy. Any confederacy. Any confederacy. Against your life. Any manipulation. Of witchcraft. Make the blood. Silence them. Make the blood. Silence every voice. That is speaking against you. Make the blood. I activate the power of the blood. Of Jesus over my life. And I declare by the blood. I overcome every witch. Declare by the blood. You overcome the power of witchcraft. By the blood. We overcome every witchcraft activity against your life, against your destiny. Somebody pray. They have no power. Over your life. Every power of witchcraft, every wizard spirit, we speak the blood against them. The blood speak against every family witchcraft attacking your life. Hey! In Jesus' mighty name. Witches and wizards, they issue enchantments, divinations, and spells. You are lifting the blood against every enchantment, every divination, every sorcery. Wherever they gather, they have gathered in your name to make any divination, to release any spell, charms. Tonight, the blood destroy them. Lift up the power of the blood. Destroy every enchantment of witchcraft. Destroy every spell of witchcraft. Somebody pray. May every witchcraft spell against your life be destroyed. The enchantments. Pray. By the blood. We destroy every witchcraft. What about the planning for you? Do not have the plan. We destroy. We destroy. Somebody destroy the spell. The enchantment. The sorcery. Destroy them. In the name of Jesus. They are destroyed. They are destroyed. They are brought to naught. Every spell break. Somebody pray. Every spell of witchcraft, break off your destiny. In the name of Jesus. Any sorcery, any divination, any magic, pray. Let the hole break off your life. We break the holes. Jesus, Jesus. First John 4, 4 says that you are God, little children, and have overcome them. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The spirit of God within you, the Holy Spirit within you, is greater than any spirit of witchcraft. So you overcome every contrary spirit tonight. Tonight, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you pull those down. Every contrary spirit of witchcraft. Lift up your voice and declare in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I overcome every force of witchcraft against my life. And in the name of Jesus. 
I destroy them. In the name of the Lord, I destroy them. Release overcoming power right now. Hey, in the name of Jesus, I overcome every witch, every wizard in your family, in your mother's house, in your father's house, in your workplace, in your office, in your workplace, among your friends. In the mighty name of Jesus, we release overcoming power against the spirit of witchcraft. We destroy their home. Somebody pray. You overcome them. They will not overcome you. You overcome them. But greater is he that is in you. Pray. Somebody pray. Places far above all principality and power. Ephesians 1 also says in 20 to 21 that Christ is seated in the heavenly places and we are in him. And all principalities, all powers, all rulers of darkness, all witchcraft, they are where? Oh, put your hands together. They are under your feet. Tonight you want to declare in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, tonight, I take my spiritual position in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And I declare, I am seated far above all principality and powers and thrones and dominion. I declare, they are under my feet. They are under my feet. Demons are under my feet. Wish come are under my feet. They are under my feet. I trample them down in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Declare. They are under your feet. You trample them down. You trample them down. You Jesus said, Behold, I give you power to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. We trample down forces of witchcraft against our destiny. They will not have their way. I am seated. I declare I am seated. Far above all principality and power and flow and dominion. I my I I they will not prevail. They cannot prevail against you. Somebody cry. They cannot prevail 
trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. And nothing means nothing. Hallelujah. Tonight you want to declare the mighty name of Jesus. I declare. I take authority over all forces of evil in the realms of the spirit. And I declare nothing shall by any means hurt me. I trample them down. Under my feet, in the mighty name of Jesus, lift a prayer right now. Oh, we trample them down. You trample them down by divine authority. Christ has given you authority by the authority of Christ. He said He has given you the power. We take that power tonight and we bring them down. Bring them down, somebody. Bring down, bring them down. heaven take it over and they bind whatsoever shall bind in heaven shall be bound bind on earth shall be bound in heaven bind on earth shall be bound in heaven loose on earth shall be loose in heaven right now we are binding forces of witchcraft family witchcraft witchcraft for your father's house you bind them all witches and wizards in your mother's house you bind them witchcraft even in your office you bind them any witchcraft activity against your life you bind those witches Bible says a man's enemies are those of his own household. Deal with family witchcraft. We bind them in the name of Jesus. They are bound. Lift up your voice and say in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind forces of witchcraft for my mother's house, for my father's house, and for my friends, in my office, in my workplace. I bind them. I bind every power of witchcraft for my family. Somebody pray. Your husband's family, your wife's family, pray. Every witch, every wizard, are praying against you for your family. And God is going to do it. Every witch in your workplace, in your school. In your home, in the church, in your father's house. 
we cannot oppress. But we see their oppression. They cannot oppress. We break their oppression. Hey! By the battle axe of the Lord. You know, in the book of Jeremiah 51 20, God says, You are my battle axe and the weapons of war. For with you I will break into pieces the nations, and with you I'll break into pieces the, the kingdoms. You say he says you are his battle axe. So you want to lift up your voice tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare I am the battle axe of the Lord, and I break every stronghold of witchcraft against my family against my life lift it up right now break break every woman every man they can avail themselves to be used of the devil in witchcraft against you use your mouth use your words you say you are my battle axe Break, break that struggle. Every struggle of witchcraft. In the mighty name of Jesus. There's a seat of witchcraft that has been passed down from generation. God said, you are my battle ass, an axe, a hammer. Tonight you are praying in the mighty name of Jesus. I break the seat of witchcraft in my family. From my father's side, my mother's side. Lift up your voice right now and say, in the mighty name of Jesus. By the hammer of God, I break the seat of witchcraft. In my family, my father's side, my mother's house, in the mighty name of Jesus, any seat of witchcraft in my family tonight, I break it down. I break it by the power of God. Somebody pray as you break the power of God is for you. Open your mouth, somebody. Somebody pray. Go 
Don't look around you. Concern yourself with God. Pray. Malabago, Malabago, Malabago. Let us sit on this Sit on this place. We break the seat of witchcraft against your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Witches and wizards, they meet in covens in the night. We are praying that they are meeting people called the covens. God says in Zechariah 2 5, He said, He will be the wall of fire around us. God says that He is a consuming fire. So you are praying that may the fire of God burn every witchcraft coven in your family. Or any which have COVID where they are mentioning your name. May that COVID catch fire. May they catch fire. Lift up fire. Oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your fire burn and consume every which have COVID. Where my name is being mentioned. Where there are enchantments against me. Lift it up, somebody pray. Command the fire of God. Holy Ghost fire. Burn and consume. May the fire of God burn and consume. The Lord is a consuming fire. The fire burn and consume. Every wish that God somebody pray. Push the prayer. God says in Isaiah 54 15, He said that they will surely gather together against you, but not by me, and they will fall for your sake. Tonight, you are praying that may the word of God that you have spoken, may He make it manifest. May he strike them down. Let them fall one by one. May they fall for your sake. I've told you the story about that witch who was flying the night. And we had an all night. We just around 5 a.m. We released a, a bullet bang. It's a pole. She came down. She was arrested. Tonight, I pray. May any witch, any wizard on your case, may they be arrested. May the power of God strike them down. May they fall for your sake. Lift up your voice and pray in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my God, strike down every witch and every wizard on my case. Strike them down in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, let them be stricken down. God, strike them down. Hey, when they fly, may God strike them down. They cannot rise. They cannot rise. They cannot rise. Oh God, strike them down. Strike them down. Let them fall. Hey. Yes. We release the spiritual bullet. Let them fall. Oh Lord, strike them down. Great. 
Just witchcraft, and for that, that they too, God strike them down. Wherever anybody has taken your name, your picture, your image, your hair, your clothing for enchantment, we lock them up with the witches and the wizards, and we strike them down by the power of God. They will eat their own flesh and they will drink their own blood. Whatever they went to enchant, it goes back to their head. Somebody shout, Amen. Oh, somebody shout amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah 54, 17, God says that there's no weapon formed against your life that will prosper. And any tongue that is raised against you in judgment, you have the right to condemn. Say, so this is your heritage as a son of God. Right now, we are coming against every wish come weapon. We are coming against spells. We are coming against charms. We are coming against divinations. We are coming against anything that has been released against you. There is the spell of failure. The spell of poverty, anti-marriage spells, you name it. We break them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. No weapon, no weapon. What about wish and force? It's fighting your, your marriage, fighting your health, fighting your progress. You say no weapon. Come against your life will prosper. Tonight. Break them. We destroy. Destroy every spell. Break it. In the name of Jesus. Break it. We destroy the spell. Break every spell of poverty. Lack of progress. Confusion. The spell of madness. And the progress.
Jesus' mighty name. Numbers 23, 23 declares, Surely there's no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. Listen, wherever they are enchanting, they are taking your picture, your name, to enchant against you, to confuse you, to cause you not to do well, to cause you to die before your time, to release sickness and disease, to frustrate your purpose. Bible said there's no enchantment against you. Neither any divination. So right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, you will lift up the power of God and declare every enchantment break. Oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, every enchantment, any enchantment against my destiny, break. In the name of Jesus, break. Lift up the prayer right now. Break every enchantment. Every sorcery. Every enchantment. God says, there's no enchantment. Tonight by the power of God. We command the enchantment to break. How can they guess who God has blessed? God has blessed you. You cannot be cursed. destroy you. Now, Isaiah 8 verse 9 to 10 says, Associate yourself, O ye people, you shall be broken in pieces. Get yourself and you shall be broken in pieces. Take counsel together, it shall not stand. It will come to naught. Speak the word, it will not stand. Because God is with us. God is on our side. So now you want to lift up prayer. In the mighty name of declare that no word, no counsel, no confederacy against your life will stand. In the mighty name of Jesus, tonight, oh Lord, let every association of witches and wizards and enemy forces against my life, let them be broken into pieces. Break them down. Command them to be broken down. Let them be crushed. Let them be crushed. Somebody command, let them be crushed. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray. Any association, they will gather together. God say He's not in their gathering. Wherever they gather against you, they shall be broken into pieces. Break them into pieces. My God, break them into pieces. They shall not stand. to lift up your voice and pray that may any witchcraft curse against you hey curses against your childbearing 
any curse that we release against you anti prosperity curses tonight by the power of God uh, you command that curse to break no curse can limit you the curses break lift up your voice and declare in the mighty name of Jesus I destroy the power of every which can curse against my life anti progress curses destructive curses hey my robot of flesh and the drinkers of blood. God says in Isaiah chapter 49, he says that they will eat their own flesh. 26. He said they shall eat their own flesh. Who seek to eat your flesh? And they shall be drunk with their own blood like sweet wine. <laughs> so I are praying, oh God, let every eater of flesh be paralyzed. May God paralyze them. May they eat their own flesh. May they drink their own blood. Lift it up right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, paralyze every eater of flesh. Ah, those who want to eat your flesh, let them eat their own flesh. Those who want to drink your blood, let them drink their own blood. Let them drink their own blood. They cannot eat your flesh. Or the flesh of your children. Somebody pray. They can't eat the flesh of your children. They eat up a flesh, eat their own flesh. They cannot eat your flesh. Ezekiel 11 37. God says, The city is a cauldron. Now, a cauldron is a witchcraft pot where they boil human meat. He said, The city is a cauldron and you are the flesh. Therefore, that said the, the Lord, your slain whom you have laid in the midst of it. They are the flesh. And this city is a cauldron. But I'll bring you forth out of the midst of the cauldron. He will bring you out of every cauldron. Even if they have put you in the cauldron ready to boil you, God will take you out of every witchcraft pot. They cannot eat your flesh. They cannot drink your blood. Lift up your voice and declare deliverance. I declare deliverance ah, of my life from every witchcraft pot, from every cauldron. Oh God! Take me out. Take out my children from every cauldron, from every pot. Hey! They cannot eat your flesh or the flesh of your children. I'm 
But he says, but that's the the Lord. Even the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. And the prey of the terrible will be saved. For I will contend with him that contends against you. And I'll save you. And I'll save your children. This is the promise of God. Lift up your voice and pray. The Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, tonight I release my spirit. I release my soul. I release my body. Every organ in my body. I release my marriage. I release my children. I release my job, my position. Somebody pray from every yoke of captivity. I release my money. I release my finances. I release my job. Ah, my man, that I'm Somebody pray. Command a release from every captivity. You will not be a prisoner. The power of God set you free. Against every captivity of death, you shall not die. Somebody pray. I shall not die. I shall live to declare the good works of the Lord. Pray. Every captivity of death. Somebody pray. Every assignment of death, break. Every wish that sponsored disease, be destroyed. They cannot kill you. Somebody pray. You shall not die. We shall not die, but we shall live to declare the good works of the Lord. Any wish of attack of death against you, break, 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 break. I break every assignment of death against my life, against my family. Break. They will eat their own flesh. They will drink their own blood. They will fall down and they will die. He says, suffer not the wish to live. My God. Is somebody praying? Breaking the power of witchcraft. Break the power of witchcraft. Against your destiny. Against your marriage. Your job. Your job. Your job. Your position. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's command release. Because there's more to pay back for tonight. Let's go to release. You want to pray right now. You want to release your life from every witchcraft, engineered accident death, paralysis, surgery, anything that is witchcraft engineered. Tonight, Bible says, shall lose, whatever shall lose, shall be loose. You lose yourself. Take in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, I lose myself from every witchcraft engineered accident, surgery, paralysis, premature death, any witchcraft engineered spell. I I lose myself from it. I lose myself from every witchcraft assignment against my life. I lose myself. I lose my body. I lose my soul. I lose my spirit. I lose my children. Come on, let up. Lose yourself. Mama, lose your marriage. I lose myself. Lose 
Mighty name of Jesus, I declare I am free from every witchcraft bondage. I am loose. I declare I am loose in the name of Jesus. No witch, no wizard has power over me. I am empowered. I am empowered by the Holy Ghost. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Thank you, Jesus, for prevailing prayer and prevailing power by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that tonight I am delivered. I am saved from all forces of witchcraft and sorcery in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I declare I am delivered I am free by the power of your mighty hand to prosper. My life is delivered and my life is hidden in Christ and Christ Jesus is hidden in God. I declare I shall not be ashamed but the witches and the wizards who have been against my life, they shall be put to shame and confusion the everlasting confusion will never be forgotten. In the mighty name of Jesus, tonight I declare the blessing of God upon my life. Oh, somebody lift up your voice and declare the blessing. I declare I am blessed. I am highly favored. Oh, somebody lift up your hand and declare I am highly favored. I receive divine elevation. I move forward. I progress in life. I progress in every area of my life. I begin to see great success in my life. My health is restored. My life is renewed. Ah, sickness and disease is far from me. Projections of wickedness are broken. And I declare, I am blessed. I am favored. I am blessed. I am free in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, put your hands together. Hey, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Jesus is Lord. Hey, la, 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 la. There is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, there is power. I hear the 
succeed. Their plans will not succeed because God has given you power over them and God has liberated you by his strength in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit. Oh, we give you glory tonight. Lord. I am Break every chain. Break every chain. Oh, break every chain. Break every chain. Oppressing your life and whatever has been engineered in your life right now, I command it to break and I command it to leave your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I cast out any force of demons, any satanic power that has been released against your life by powers of witchcraft. I command them out of your life right now, be loose. Take your liberty right now. They are bound. They cannot operate against you anymore. In the mighty name of Jesus. I lose your soul. I set your soul free. I set your soul free. For Christ has purchased you. I lose your spirit. I lose your life. Ah, and that destiny. They have sought to manipulate. Tonight I release your destiny. To align with the counsel of God. That which God has ordained for you. So shall it be. It is established. So forever, oh God, thy word is established in heaven. The destiny that God has for you is established. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Receive the power of God right now. Be set free. Yes. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Let the anointing go up over here. The anointing that breaks the yoke. Thank you. Pastors, let's get to it right now. As the anointing all touches you, that your praise. Some of you have been dreaming you are eating. You are always there. Prepare the banquet before you are eating. 
any assignment of to initiate you into witchcraft. To now, I break. I break it. You cannot be initiated. No way. Your body belongs to God. Your soul belongs to God. Your spirit belongs to God. Loose them, let them go. Come out. Every power of sorcery. Out. Every sickness, witchcraft, sponsored disease. Out. Those who are pursuing you, chasing after you. To not I paralyze their power. And I break them. Hey! The yoke of confusion in your life breaks. Loose them, let them go. Power of God. Yes, take it right now. The anointing breaks the yoke. That the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I command your liberty. Take it, that is it. Take it, that is it. Holy Ghost, touch them. So for this purpose, the Son of God was manifest. That he destroyed the work of the devil. The work of the devil is destroyed tonight. Witchcraft projections break. And I release the hand of God against them. Some of them will come and confess. Some of them will confess. They are under arrest. We arrest them by the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Let the yoke break. Come on, loose. The hindering spirits are here spirits of hindrance. That's what they have put in your life. But tonight, I break the yoke of hindrance. Yes, and I set you your life free, your feet free. Loose her. Go, come on. Yes. Loose. Let it go. Yes. Every hindrance breaks. Yes. Let's go. Every hindrance. Yes. Every
Walk therefore in the liberty where Christ has made you free. So you walk in perfect liberty. You possess your possession. You rise up in new strength and in new power. And I declare you live. You live. You don't die. You live to declare the good works of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Take you from grace to grace and from glory to glory. In Jesus' mighty name, you are blessed and favored. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight you want to take a seat offering in your hand, lift it up. So Lord is my seed. So for as long as the earth remains, seeds and the harvest will never end. Every good seed Jeff put in the good ground brings forth the harvest. So tonight I pray and may the seed in your hand bring forth a corresponding harvest to you. I hear some of you, some are going to come to you and confess. Strange things. Strange things. They will knock their head against stones. They will come and confess. And so I bless the seed in your hands. As you take an offering too, I bless the offering. Of Lord bless you. Ah, may you trample upon serpents and scorpions. With all the power of them. May you walk in your high places in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the blessing of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you as you come. Let's receive Reverend Tim. Offering time. time. Blessing time. Offering time, blessing time, blessing time. Trumpet of Zion. When I make a see, you come for you see, Rabona, you too, too. I come for you see, Rabona, you too, too. But when I make a see, you put your way, you too, too, too. Now you come for you. I am a winner. I am a winner. Oh, the devil knows that I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner. Oh, the power, the power of God is upon me. Oh, the favor, the favor of God is upon me. Oh, everybody, I am a winner. Father, we thank you tonight. Tonight we have come before you, not empty-handed. We have come with our offering and seed. We pray that you bless this offering and bless the seed, that we have a harvest in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank God for tonight, and I'll call on the...
Let's pray. <laughs> Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you, Father, tonight for your mighty power that has prevailed. We give you all the praise and glory. Thank you for the blood of Jesus, which is a sign of your love, a gift of your love to us, and a sign of your desire to dwell in our hearts. Tonight we thank you because we know that in righteousness we shall be established, and we shall be far from oppression and from terror, for it shall never come near us. He says, surely they will gather together, but not of you. Whosoever shall gather together against us, they shall fall for our sake. For he said, this is the inheritance of the servant of the Most High God. And no weapon fashioned against us shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against us, you are giving us authority and the power to condemn. For this is the heritage that, Lord, you have given unto us. We thank you and we bless your holy name because you are giving us assurance that you contend with those who contend against us. And you fight and you save our lives, you save our family, feeding all those who oppress us with their own flesh, that they will be drunk with their own blood as sweet wine, that you may know that you, Jehovah God, God of Israel, you are our God. We thank you tonight, even as you are living. We know that we have been set free from every bondage, from every assignment of the enemy, that we come back strong, empowered by your spirit, and by the power of the blood of Jesus. We give you all the praise and glory, even as we have prayed in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you for your handmaiden. We pray that every virtue that has left her, Lord, you are God, who fulfill it. That will come back empowered and strengthened by your spirit to give all or whatever you have given unto us, to also pass it on to us, that we also live strong and mighty to the glory of your name. We thank you, Father, and we bless you. And Father, we are not leaving your presence because of your covenant promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Keep us, set your angels to encamp around us, take us safely to our various homes, watch over our lives as a great shepherd who keep watch over his flock. We thank you, Father, for what you have done. We give you all the praise and glory even as we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord God Almighty lift up the light of his countenance upon you and grant you his perfect peace. Amen. And so we say, look at your neighbor. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you.